Now I have the contour cam on and I'm going to take it out and give it a test drive see how it works. The one thing that I have to look at is wind noise as far as if you turn the helmet too far you can get wind noise. I don't know if that's going to happen. Also I have to be able to reach up with my right hand and switch this on and off. Now what I found is with the buttons in the back here, it's kind of a tutorial what, I'm, what I found out, is that they've done a really good job with if you hit this button right here and you hold it for a minute the camera beeps once and what that means is that the camera is on so you don't have to look at it you can hear it that way you don't have to take your helmet off and look at it and play with it and everything else the next uh, thing is that you you turn it on right you turn the recording on like that and it'll, it'll say record right there when you're done recording for whatever you want to do you reach up and you pull it back now when you want to turn the camera off it's got uh, the same kind of deal where you push the button and it'll be twice and you know the camera's off and saving the battery now this has a I believe a hundred and eleven degree aspect in width from here to here and all that can be adjusted in the software that it comes with on the website it's called configuring the camera the other aspect is it'll it says right there wide 135 degrees you change that in the software on the website and it changes the camera you there is no manual controls on the camera as far as that goes and you can also change the brightness the contour the audio but I don't know how well that works because you have to change it in the computer then you have to take it out and try it so I've So what I'll do is I'll go out, I leave the little cap on right here, leave that cap on, then when I go, I'm ready to do my little recording, I'll pull the cap off, stick it in my pocket, pull off the side of the road, push the button on the side here, when it beeps I know it's ready, and then I'll turn it on, or, and then I'll record and turn it off. So I'm going to, there's about four or five different aspect ratios you can go like 700 to 600 ratio or all the way up to 1920 by 1080 and of course the higher you go the less or the more memory it takes the less time you have to record but it's got a little teeny tiny memory card in it that's probably about a half inch across and it holds uh, two gigabytes so there should be enough to do that of course, the higher the the resolution, the less time you have. And then, the nice thing about this is if you forget to turn it off, the camera automatically goes off after 15 minutes. And then while you are have it plugged into the computer, it automatically recharges it, kind of like one of those little um, Zoom uh, Microsoft players. I have one of those, but I, don't, I, I can't figure out how the damn thing works. I'm just, I'm too old for my time. Anyway, I've got the. I've decided I'm going to take it out on the gyro to get all the facts and figures dialed in with the the resolutions, and then I'm going to then I'm going to uh, take this out and do the speed runs. So I'm going to figure out everything bad about this and see the camera is mounted a little bit sideways, and I hope that doesn't. Um, I hope that doesn't make the video sideways. Okay, I'm going to go out and test it.